avenge you, father. I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will save you, mother. I will kill you if you let me. I didn't okay. waste my time to look for a good shot of the fucking, the picture I wanted. It was a web video, so I couldn't do it. I just wanted the, the sign that said Northman, and then they had the actress and the actor dude standing there. Because mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. So, Lamar, did you like the movie? Fuck this movie. <laughs> You're the one that was hella juiced about seeing it. I was hella juiced. Yeah. I was like, if I don't see it, it's going to be a conversation between Lamar and Josh. And I ended up, I, I went and saw it last I, night. I I was looking forward to it, but like, uh, what I'm about to say is that I should have known better because his last movie, Lighthouse, was Who, fucking, the director, the director's last Yeah, movie? Robert Eggers, I think, was mm -hmm. just as like bizarre as like this movie was uh, filmed, like all the images, the flashy images and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think people are expecting something like uh the north and i don't think they're i think they're expecting something like the witcher or something on netflix or like gladiator you, like you know what i mean when i say that mm -hmm. so the, the reason why i was excited is because of movies like gladiator and troy and mm -hmm. so i love those type of movies so when they showed the preview i was like oh we got another one of those mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. no Josh thought maybe you thought it was going to be like a Game of Thrones type of thing. And he was like, he's going to be disappointed because it's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, okay. So <laughs> the Northman is a, a young kid, sees his dad get killed. And he's basically on, I guess, kind of a journey to avenge his death. I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will I kill will you, kill Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. It sounds like his name was Fiona. I don't know. That's what I heard every time. Fiona. Fiona, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, Lamar was disappointed, to say the least. I loved it. <laughs> Josh. Can't, can't wait for the VHS so I can buy it and watch it over and over. I, I, I mean, I was in this. I thought it was okay, but I wasn't standing there watching it like, oh man, everybody's going to love this shit. Mm -hmm. It, it, yeah, like there was a certain point in the film where I'm like, all right, you know what, I'm I'm checking out. I was kind of feeling it to see where it goes, but despite the fact that there was like some fucking peyote, weird dog barking humans doing shit. I don't know. You wanna, but you, you, you want to know what? So from the beginning, remember uh, that one movie you guys liked and I didn't, and Natasha was like, you feel like that from the beginning? I said, yeah. She said that was your bad because you guys liked it and I didn't. So uh -huh. when this shit started. When they showed, uh, what the fuck is the, the dad's name? Um, Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. Yeah. When they showed him, like, trying to put on this extra-ass act and speaking with that stupid-ass accent, mm -hmm. I was already irritated, but I was like, just <laughs> ignore it. I was like, just ignore it, because I don't want to hear Tasha's mouth. <laughs> I mean, I ignored it all the way up to the barking dog scene. I was like, okay. That I'm, was immediate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So I wasn't, I didn't want to see this movie. You guys were like, I want to see it. J Lamar was juiced. Josh was like, I'll watch it. I was like, fuck, I got to watch this movie. So it got to a point where I was like, I'm just going to not watch it. And conversation will be with, between them two. And I'll just kind of like moderate or whatever. So I was like, no, I can't do that. Let me go see it. So I went to see it last night at the last minute. And I didn't hate it, but it wasn't great. And it was way too damn long. And there were moments like that when they were, you know, acting like wolves and all this crazy shit where I was like, okay like this is really bizarre <laughs> but it wasn't awful it was it was what it was but I think it's because I wasn't really wanting to see it that I didn't hate it but mm -hmm. I was at some point I was kind of like on Instagram in the movie theater like okay I don't really have to pay attention <laughs> like I can no, have like there's, there was like a part I, I, where it could have just ended and then oh yeah. wait no we got to continue it like uh, maybe not as bad as ambulance but like <laughs> Well, it seems uh, like if you're a two hour and 20 minute yeah. movie mm -hmm. you should just be two hours just cut the 20 minutes like yeah. you don't at least with trip. ambulance like at least it was like Action. entertaining yeah you didn't check least... out of it way too much but with this one it was just like all right like and the and the humans actually like humans. humans if i <laughs> yeah. if i if i would if i would have just stumbled across this movie i don't think i would feel as angry about it as i do i just expected a lot more 
Mm-hmm. They sold me on the preview. They really sold me on the preview. Maybe if it would, maybe if you watched it at home, do you think that would have been different rather than like going I, to the theater if, and all of that? No, if I if I would have watched it at home and I like stumbled across it like on Netflix or something, mm-hmm. it probably wouldn't have bothered me. Right, right. As I don't know, man. Like I said, I, it's like, it's like <laughs> I ex- I expected so much from this fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Are you are you sure you wouldn't just like change the channel and saw them barking on the ground and be like, like nope, what the next, fuck? Yeah, nope, next one. <laughs> you you would have had the <laughs> option to turn it off. <laughs> yeah. I would have definitely just been like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. But I probably would have kept watching it. But it's it really, just, yeah. it really bothered me because I expected a lot. And it just from the jump, I was like, what the fuck is going on? They just, they, they tried too hard to sell the, 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 uh, the feeling. Like from the beginning, like I said, when he, when he's coming home, father, father's here. And then he comes in doing that all hell mate to him from the ground to the realm. When he was talking like that, I was like, that's, that's not, that's not Go cool. to Tasha, say something down to ask Lamar something. Okay. I was going to say the sound, the voiceovers were really weird. It sounded like he was narrating rather than being yeah. in it yeah. and him talking. The way that his voice sounded, I, I, that yeah. bothered me. I was just, I was watching that kid acting. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is easy. This is all you, Lamar. This is all you. Oh, I'm can't. waiting. <laughs> no, but look, but look, but look. So, so the kid acting bad would have stood out if everything else wasn't so bad. <laughs> I hate I I I literally hated Ethan Hawke in this movie, and I've never hated it. I've never hated his acting. I hated it in here. Yeah, I, I, I hated him. That accent, <laughs> like it, it reminds who talked like that. Somebody talked like that, just being funny in a movie before. Was he kind of sounded Scottish or Irish? Like he didn't sound Swedish or whatever they're supposed to be. Okay, so you got so you guys have seen um um uh. What's the movie when they have to take care of the kids, like uh, uh, the after school program, like Big Brothers? Oh, uh, role models. Role models. Oh. Remember when they met the guy and he was talking like that, like, "Oh, welcome to the realm." Kind of. Oh. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's how Ethan Hawke sounded to me. Like it, it sounded like he was making a mockery more than playing a character. Like if you were at a show where they were like, yeah, like if you were at a dinner and they were, it was a show and they were yeah. being uh, over <laughs> like medieval, medieval times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like he sounded like an extra from like Robin Hood, Man in Tights, or something. Like I couldn't take him serious. It, it 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 annoyed me. Like I said, it annoyed me from the jump. I tried to ignore it. I just in my mind, I heard, heard Tasha like I seen her doing that. Well, that's your bad. I seen her doing that in my head. I was like, don't do it. Don't just just forgive it until they crawl into that cave. Then I was like, okay, fuck this. <laughs> uh, did you know that this was like Hamlet, the story of Hamlet? No. And his name is Amleth. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> because so when when you see the uncle kill him because i was told it was the story of hamlet but it didn't register when i was watching it until that happened i was like oh shit scar because I, I went to lion king so i was like scar mufasa simba uh, and then later when nicole kidman was talking to him when he confronted her and she was like amleth it sounded like she was saying hamlet and i was like ah oh, shit it's hamlet rearranged <laughs> hamlet, hamlet. hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there were hyenas. Were those hyenas, or were, were those dogs. dogs? They were. I thought they were like hyenas. Or something. Yeah. Maybe I was just trying to they make were, everything like. They, they were dogs barking for absolutely. <laughs> no reason. I thought they were like hyenas or wolves or something. But, uh, what about what did you think about like the action and the visuals? Because one thing I was hearing positive about it was like, oh, the visuals. Maybe not so much the. Okay, movie. so. So, so the the scene behind you, I thought that scene was cool, but I thought the the premise of the scene was so fucking unnecessary. The one behind me. Yeah. Which which scene was this? Was this um? When they, when they were going through the village, just killing everybody. In the beginning. It was when he grew up. He he grew up. He <laughs> he joined that that random gang, and yeah. they were just running through that village, killing. I guess for another government. Mm-hmm. They just they just raid. That's what I, I remember they used to like and on the Viking show. They would go on boats and raid villages. And but weren't they everybody. weren't they getting people from that village to take to Iceland where he ended up turning yeah. into a slave so he can yeah, like okay. yeah. yeah so that they were pillaging Yo, that. Raiding. pillaging yeah raiding then they yeah kidnap the people. I, I recommend watching Viking <laughs> TV show. This is a better version of this, it. 
what's funny what's funny about before that like so you see how the guy looks behind tasha right now but when they're on the boat and they're rowing and they're like they're like you don't know which guy he is there was a guy to the left it was this vicious looking motherfucker i was like oh dude and then the camera went to him i was like oh yeah. <laughs> i, 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 I pinpointed like, him immediately, immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I saw, I saw, cause they, they, they like, they like show him and then they linger kind of on the other guy mm-hmm. and then they come back to him. But the other guy looked more like vicious, like, like, I don't give a fuck. But then they got to this guy, he looked all nice. You're like, but, then, <laughs> <laughs> but then when he was walking to the village, he looked like crazy. But like I'm saying, it was, it was for no reason. It was like, you, you look crazy and vicious, but you're killing innocent people. Cause he was a bear. Remember they had that whole ritual and they were all turning into bears. When they were doing that when they were doing the African chants and dances. <laughs> With the bonfire. <laughs> That's why he was looking crazy. He was a bear. He was a wolf in the beginning with his dad, and then he became he was, a bear. I thought he was a dog. Was he a dog? I think he was a oh, dog. No, he had to show that he how he was different from a dog by farting and his dad burped. Yeah, and his dad burped. And that yeah. was it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So anything about the action scene? <laughs> if there's one like good thing to say, it, yeah, it's the action, the visuals, but that's not enough to make me think this was a really good film. Mm-hmm. Right. Like I, I give credit where credit's due. And I tell people it's an artsy film and I respect him for doing something kind of different than like Game of Thrones or like uh, Gladiator, something more, I say maybe authentic probably. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure they were doing that shit back in the day. Or maybe oh, still okay. So, okay. So, Tasha, when you say this was Hamlet, was this a play before? No, I'm just saying it was like a, it was based on the Hamlet story, with okay. uh, kind of like Lion King was the Hamlet story. Yeah. So okay. it's just it's an original story, but they used the Hamlet as a like a what do you call it? Premise. The base of the story. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the twist. Oh yeah, the twist, the twist with the mom. Yeah. Which I it wasn't it didn't blindside me. I kind of no. because I was like. <laughs> She doesn't seem to like her husband too much. Yeah, yeah, it was, like, yeah. It, it was it was a little a little obvious. They went too far with the kissing. I was like, you, you guys are going too far with. But that's authentic too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was and all kinds of incestuous stuff. You blame, back in could you blame Nicole Kidman? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not actually her son. They're just acting. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Just that story. That part of the story just. Uh, it, yeah, it was. I, I was like, "What the fuck?" Shock value, I guess. I guess I don't know. Yeah. So, like you said, authenticity. So but yeah, but there why, was incest back in that time. So, but why? Why would she have? I, I just didn't know why she had incest for her son that she wanted to kill. Yeah, it made no it, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it makes sense with Game of Thrones because you know the brother and sister, and they you know they grew up, grew up together and love each other. I guess it's still fucking nasty, but it made more sense in Game <laughs> of Thrones. Than it did in it. I still don't like it, but it makes mm-hmm. sense. <laughs> it the, it, the the movie just seemed so like um it, it it seemed like they didn't take no time to direct it. It seemed like it might have made a good book, but it seemed like they just threw the movie together. Like because every, everything took place on that little ass farm thing, mm-hmm. and then it was like a uh, and then even the even towards the end when he's like I'm going into the mountains to hide, and then he he automatically comes back to save the girl. It was like it was it was. I don't know. It's just, that shit was weird. Climbing down the ladder into the thing and then climbing up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a Romeo and Juliet. That's why I asked if it was a play. Like it, it, it seemed like a play adaption. Hmm. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah. Still terrible. Yeah. Compared to <laughs> the, the, the feeling they gave me, I mean, uh, that my expectations, I shouldn't add high expectations, I guess. Yeah. Once again, and I just said, I, I should. <laughs> No, no, sorry, man. I, I have a feeling if it came on TV, I would have skipped. I probably skipped it too. If I didn't know, if I didn't know what it was. I just saw it at that one part. I probably like nope, because you know my patience with movies nowadays ain't as ain't like what you do. I ain't got my superpowers no more. Do you think it? Yeah. Do you think it was like a big whole box office theater release because of the director and kind of his success with the other? Yeah. Movies? I, I believe so because like uh, do I need more light in here or am I good? You're uh, you're okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, because I started promoting it. Like The Witch was a big movie that I know a lot of people liked, uh-huh. and the same with Lighthouse. So 
I think that kind of did play a major role in like why it probably could have made a you know big numbers at the box office. Um, didn't this have but, didn't this have high ratings? This one? Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't. Know. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't really. I haven't really heard anything about it. The only thing I heard was like visually it was stunning, but other than yeah. that, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I'd be curious to see like Rotten Tomatoes or something, see what the ratings are, but yeah, I gotta check it out. Yeah. yeah I, I mean that's the, that's the main reason why I went to see it. Like I do like movies like this, but like I, I did really like The Witch and the Lighthouse was pretty mm-hmm. good. So um that's why I went to go see this. Because I'm not really the biggest fan of what's his name? Alex Alexander Skarsgard. Skarsgard. They got an eighty nine percent, eighty nine percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Mm. Yeah. It's artsy. It's an artsy film, and people like artsy films. It's action. So if you're just go- want to see people yeah. getting pillaged and I, no, I, I know I, through the face yeah. and the nose cut off, I feel like honestly people were as desperate as me to get another one of these. We haven't had like a Troy or a or one of those in a while. Yeah, true. It's it's not the same, but it made me. I really liked um, King Arthur. An example than Troy. I like King Arthur. Can we use King Arthur instead of Troy? What'd you say about Troy? <laughs> I said I like Troy. I like King Arthur more than Troy. Can we use that as a better example? I don't know if I, I don't think I've seen King Arthur. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed that, that one. Yeah. It was making, yeah. when I was watching this, it made me think of it. And I was like, oh, I, kinda, I haven't seen that in a while, but it's not that really got, the same, that, but. Yeah. But that got a lot of hate too. Like, yeah, a lot I of people didn't like it. I, I wait, thought it was wait, actually wait, really wait, good. Wait, 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 rewind. So are you are were you talking down on Troy when you were saying that? Or I was you... just saying it'd probably be a better example to use a good movie than a movie that's kind of mediocre. Like, you know, uh, one thing I respect Northman more than Troy. You pack is... a swine. Suck a swine. Troy wasn't a good movie. <laughs> I mean, okay, Brad Pitt was not good Troy, enough. Troy. <laughs> he just he hey, looked. So I really old. like Troy. <laughs> I like Troy too. I did enjoy Troy. Yeah, I, I not, okay. I think because I read a lot about the like the history of Troy, like the mythology of Troy, and then watching the movie, it kind of was like, oh, come on now, because I, I. But I understand because if you're gonna make a Hollywood movie, you have to like switch some things up to have like a so-called happy ending where the bad guy gets killed. But in real life, he escapes. Dude, like, you get what I mean? Oh, Achilles? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I got, like, the brothers, the brothers that went to go uh, uh, get, uh, what's her name, Helen back? The, mm-hmm. the, the Greeks. Uh, so they both, they both survived. They both, like, recaptured. The oh, no, I, oh, so I thought Eric girl. Bana got killed. So Eric Bana got killed, but the, the brothers, the brother, remember the brothers that, uh, that Helen left for Eric Bana's brother? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was Brian Cox and uh, Brandon Gleason's characters. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. They were the Greeks. The, they were the, the head of the Greek. Uh, were, were they Greeks? Yeah, it was Greeks going after the Trojans. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because yeah, so, Brad Pitt was working with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So there, there was I a certain. Troy. I like Troy. I'm just, I'm just telling you why I didn't really yeah. care for it that much, you know. And I don't know shit about history. So when I, <laughs> when, <laughs> we're talking about the movie. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. no, I thought he it's was mythology, saying. Mythology, all right. Oh He's no, about I thought the Trojan he was... horse, the mythology of the Trojan horse, and oh, Helen, yeah, okay. and Helen yeah. of Troy. That... Yeah, I don't know that shit either. It's, no, it's I, thought, I thought he was, I thought, <laughs> yeah. he, was talking, I thought <laughs> he was talking about history. It's in the movie. <laughs> no, I know it in the movie, but Josh was comparing the real story to the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, don't the know story, the real story. The mythology. The mythology. <laughs> that's story. why there's no. Uh, yeah, I, There's a I don't comparison. know. I, he was able to watch the movie for what? I was over like, I don't know what the fuck you talk. I know uh, Brad Pitt killed his, the brother, and then the he <laughs> and got then shot the, in his Achilles, hence yeah. Achilles' heel. Yeah, yeah, that's where that's where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, aha, watching the movie. <laughs> uh, okay, so the Northmen. Do you guys want to talk about anything else? They were on shrooms. Tripping and stabbing I, the neck. And okay, wait, 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 I was so wait, wait, too wait, wait, sober wait. to watch this movie. Maybe I need to smoke and then no. go watch it. Right, you know, weed. Uh, we were drinking; it didn't work. <laughs> uh, but but there but there uh but there was a part, and I tried to explain it to Katrina, but I was lost too. When um the whole reason for him going back, when the dude was saying some shit with that fucked up ass accent, and he was like, 
Do you picture that? And he didn't even have to kill his brother. And, it, and then he was like, what the fuck did he say before that? To make him be like, oh, let me let me go with the slaves. Because he was like, what do, you, what do you mean? And he was like, something, something, something. He didn't even have to kill his brother. Who said that? Some guy talking to fucking... As a grown-up? Big Bruce Willis, yeah. Before, oh. before he did the, the, the uh, branding. So he was basically saying that... Um... So Scar killed Mufasa mm -hmm. and then he was the king and then somebody came in and overtook his kingdom. Uh, but he was still so the he, king of his people. Yeah. So basically he was saying he killed his brother for nothing because he ended up getting his throne taken over. Oh, okay. So I was right. Cause I tried or to sum it up. I was like, I think that's what he was saying, but that accent was so fucking terrible. I couldn't, I couldn't piece it together. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, he was basically saying he killed him for nothing because he ended up losing it. Maybe he lost his village, but still was able to get another village and still be the king. Whatever. No, he, didn't get, he had a farm. He didn't a get a farm, village. Yeah. He had a fucking farm. But yeah, so that's what that his, with his with his zesty ass older son. That that too was hilarious. <laughs> that's that why he was, was so full of himself because he was trying to be something he wasn't. But you know what? Every time oh. I saw, every time I saw, I thought of that was that Dr. Pepper. When he was like, "This is the sweet one." Is that Dr. Pepper? What to do with that her? <laughs> is that Dr. Pepper? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I was laughing. <laughs> but but his death was kind of weird because, and I didn't even realize it was him until they carried his body out after. Because the way it happened, it, a, it happened so fast. Because it was abrupt. Like it was, it was like, it, but it was weird as fuck. So he, he confronted his mom. And then he like threw a temper tantrum and dudes in their sleep and then he's just like stabbing them. <laughs> yeah. So I thought he was just some random dude that just got the wrath of Hamlet. I didn't realize it was the, the son. And so they carried his body out. <laughs> I knew he was stabbing, but it was just like, it was like he left his mom and just ran into another room. Like the mom didn't alert nobody. <laughs> yeah, <we're> right. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> That's what he did. That shit's weird. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker um, was zesty as hell, though. Okay. <laughs> Especially when he lost it, he tried to kill all the slaves. <laughs> Those are good men. His, his perm was like, his dad was like, calm <laughs> down. Man. His perm was like. <laughs> when he killed his homeboys or his, you know, little side pieces, and were he they, was, did he put them, of? he made them into a horse? It, that, it looked like a horse, or maybe it was a dog. I don't know. It looked like a reason? horse to me, though. <laughs> he had time on his hands. He had time. <laughs> and nobody heard them screaming? No. Yeah. <laughs> nobody heard them screaming. Oh, and then, like, he kept, like, I don't want to say one-liners, but he kept, like, making statements after he would do something or before he would do something <laughs> so it almost seemed like shakespearean like it was a play like a play because he always made a point to say something i didn't like the cinderella sword that only comes out <laughs> when the sun is down that shit was stupid <laughs> nobody could see his big ass on that roof when they were walking <laughs> to the barn <laughs> i, I mean see him anywhere he's healthy <laughs> I mean, the guy who wrote it, like, did, Tosh, you said you saw The Witch, right? Mm -hmm. So that was, like, another kind of, like, Shakespearean type of script. Except for I thought that that's the, the story in that, the structure was better in The Witch than it was in here. Uh -huh. uh, like, Lighthouse, that's more modern, but The Witch, I think, I think he likes doing, like, stuff like that, like, period yeah. pieces where they talk like that. Mm -hmm. So like, you said Lighthouse is more, like, now, though? Just yeah, yeah. Well, that, that takes place. Yeah, it takes place at a lighthouse. And, uh, yeah. he likes his actors too. He I likes reusing his actors because the girl from the witch. Yeah. And so the I couldn't was tell. Yeah. I couldn't tell if the supernatural shit was real or fake. Like it, it kept throwing me off. Like the, uh, and then like, uh, was that the girl riding the horse when she like looked at the sun and screamed? Was that her? I don't know. It was Valkyrie from Thor. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was like, I just know that because Thor had Valkyries. She had braces. The Valkyrie had braces. <laughs> I guess but then, so. yeah, so throughout the movie, did he have some kind of supernatural power? Because 
at the uh, when they were on the boat and she had the cut on her neck and he like went to kiss it, he could yeah. tell she was pregnant with twins. Because he but said he said you're something, but that fucked up accent. I couldn't say I couldn't tell. And she was like, she yeah, I couldn't blood. tell you. I couldn't tell you at the time. Yeah, she said like, you what? have my family's what? blood. Oh, that's what he said. Something like that. But I was like, so she's related to you? And then. <laughs> So I thought he said she was the tree. I thought she said he was the uh, she was the tree. You know they kept showing that tree with the people hanging on it, which yeah. is weird. Like two. And then it ended up being his two kids because it was she's carrying two. Yeah, it was the tree of the the tree of the kings or the the tree of the. I don't want to understand it. it, it that shit was weird. <laughs> That shit was weird. Yeah, two and a half hours. I... He's a great. He's a great fucking swimmer. I tell you that. That mm-hmm. motherfucker can swim. He's like a. <laughs> <laughs> what is that swim up on the water? <laughs> <laughs> he never went all the way down. He was always right. There. <laughs> that motherfucker can swim. And snuck onto that boat and got in with the slaves. And nobody <laughs> saw his big ass. And then the, when he was a kid, when he was a kid, he got the the. A cape of somebody, a red cape, bright, <laughs> bright as red, and put it on him to hide, and it's like moving through. <laughs> it was a cloak from Harry Potter. Oh, sorry, a cloak. Yeah, not a cape. <laughs> they couldn't so, see him. Cloak of Harry Potter. So the audience can still see it, but the people after him can't. But right? the people couldn't. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in Harry Potter, you couldn't see any one of them. But I guess the Northam, yeah. the director was going to trust his audience to know what that represented. That he's mm-hmm. invisible, mm-hmm. but we can we have we can see him because we need to know he makes it to the boat. Right, so, we have to see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. He can <laughs> avenge his father, <laughs> save his mother, and kill Fiona. Yeah, for, and Fiona, if you forget, man. if you get what we I just said, Fiona. I was like, who is Fiona? <laughs> 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 I was like, who is this woman who wants to kill? Like, <laughs> yeah. like I swear, they say that shit. I was like, in the tra- I thought that was just gonna be in the trailer. No, in the movie, they fucking say that shit. <laughs> I was like, what about Shrek? If you're going to kill Fiona, you got to kill Shrek. Yeah. The Shrek's going to come after you if you kill his, his princess. <laughs> Money's on Shrek. Okay. But then, that, right. The guy is ripped, and I'm trying to get ripped like that, but Katrina told me no. As soon as he walked through the forest, like with his, his fucking shoulder blades up like this, uh-huh. at her, she was like, no, nah, that's too much. <laughs> that's what Josh was like, because I liked him in True Blood, but he was smaller. Like, he wasn't as big as he is now that motherfucker's like, hitting him weights he doesn't do it for me anymore he don't know how to fight for shit though those fight scenes <laughs> uh like i don't that's why when you said people were like the fight scenes are incredible i'm thinking like uh, oh no looked- i was asking about the fight scenes they said the visuals were incredible the oh okay because it looked like and one and yep. swing, <laughs> and swing the sword and duck and grab and, and stab and <laughs> <laughs> it was it worse do you think it's worse than the uh the what's it called the uh, uh batman v superman fight scenes i don't remember i don't remember that oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember. okay so closing this out uh what do you say everybody rate it uh, <laughs> i gave it two and a half because i didn't i didn't absolutely Fuck, that's high yeah yeah uh i i get three Just wow like, really yeah, you guys are showing love for that one and a half. I'm about to give it. <laughs> are you rating it that high? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like half a star. One. Oh no, one and a half because it like it, it wasn't like I said my my hopes were up, so mm-hmm. I I'll give it some credit for that. Uh, Ethan Hawke, you pissed me off in here. Don't do this again. <laughs> uh, one and a half from the Cinderella sword that only comes out. Mm-hmm. Cinderella <laughs> slash Hamlet. All right, so next we're going to talk about everything, everywhere, all at once.